All right. So, the next game on the next vast space journey is Star Ground. Some sort of um, pixel art uh, dungeon hopping adventure thing with some form of automation. I'm not entirely sure, um, but let's let's do it. Apparently, there's multiplayer as well. So that's a thing. Welcome to Starground. Doing things is pretty important, so it's important to know how. Come back here anytime to brush up on your keybinds. Wazdi left. Uh, did ores just popping up out of the ground? Okay. Wazdi to move. Uh, left click to mine. Right click to access objects. One for mining, two for weapon. Scroll to swap. Uh, control to zoom in and out. Okay. F to take items from belts and movers. Okay. Uh, building. Left place. All right. Cancel. Yeah. Automation is an important part of Starground and is the first step towards unlocking the rest of the game. To get started, start mining. Uh, basic resources. Build a furnace to process resources. Um, then you can start automatically mining things. Okay. Uh, conveyors, crafting, full automation, dungeoning. Automation might not be your thing, or maybe you have to wait around for your factory to make stuff. Dungeoning is a great way to spend some time. Um, you have to build the star launcher, which is your gateway to the solar system. This will let you select different locations around the solar system. Head to um, Encladius to start dungeoning. Not Enceladus, but Encladius. All right. We'll go back back here later. As I am player. Mine. Great. Okay. Uh, let's turn the music and stuff up a little bit. So it wants me to do ten stones. We'll just we'll focus on ten stones. We also must punch tree, get wood. Love it. With that ten stone collected, you now have enough to build a furnace. First step towards automation and dungeoning. Press B to access the building menu. Furnace. Love it. Alright. Uh, that's the basics complete. You're well on your way to becoming a pro, and you'll be back to leave uh, tips when you encounter new things. Alright. Where's my inventory? I have six iron and six copper. Perfect. Let's do that. So, wood to burn. It is... One wood burns two things. It's good to know. I uh, apples? I got an apple. Alright, uh more wood. Ah, coal. That will help my burning process. I'm assuming. Okay, so we have endless resources kind of popping up all the time, which is great. Um, this reminds me of... There was a 3D version of something like this, and the resources just constantly popped up. And there was chickens. I remember there were chickens. But I don't remember what it was called. Okay, we'll call that good for now. Uh, do we have a map? We don't have a map. Inventory. Ah, the resources also vanish over time as well. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we'll take that and we'll plot that in there. Can I eat the apple? I can 
put the apple on the hot bar. Eat the apple. I ate the apple. Great. Okay, that's a violent punching animation. All right, so I have, I have things. What else are we gonna build? Crafter. Well, five and five. Consumes energy. Collector. Collects nearby resources with bee drones. Okay. Researcher. Consumes specific items to unlock new technologies. Uh, conveyor. Mover. Chest. Lovely. Chest would probably be handy. Shredder. Okay, so we need that crafter first. But it also requires power. Treadmill. Generates power. Run on power. Only useful as a temporary power source. Okay. So we need treadmill to make power to then get enough stuff to make the whatever those brick things are required for the burner. Um, actually, does the, do these do the stones turn into bricks? Let's check that. Stone. Do the stones turn into bricks? They do. Wonderful. Let's go get more stones. Uh, we also need more iron. That's good. Howdy, Carter. Welcome. Alright, um, I do not know how much a coal burns. So let's find out how much a single coal burns. <coughs> Looks like four items. Almost four items. Oh, that's that's rough. It's not a perfect four items. That's that's mean. and it does not burn the fuel. Okay, so that's good. Um, so we need three more bricks, which is it's fine. We'll get three bricks out of this. Alright, so that gives me enough to make the burner. So I don't even need the treadmill, really. Um, so burner. Put you, I don't know, over here. Burner to make power, and then we also need the crafter. Looks like you've placed down a building that requires power. In order to power this building, you need to place down something that generates power, like a treadmill or a burner. Then connect everything together with a Tesla coil and watch it all come to life. Ah. I see. Tesla coil. So that burner might not be what I need. 
test the coil. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Uh, so let's let's do let's do that right there. All right. So the next thing I want to build is probably uh, let's build a chest. No, we don't need a chest. So this is a pixel art um, automation dungeoneering masterpiece. I don't know. Um, but this one, this one's called Star Ground. But it seems to be endless resource automation to build things, to be able to go to places and do stuff. Keela's got the zoomies. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? So we got, got a little bit of power going here. Um, star launcher. So we need 20 iron to go dungeoneering. Tool bench to assemb assemble modular weapons. Modular weapons, interesting, okay. So we need a lot more iron. Let's get more iron then. And some coal to burn it all. for a chest. Do I need a chest? I don't need it, but we're doing it anyway. Perfect. Um, okay. So let's get that, get, um, get that cooking. Go get more iron. As far as my laser go. The laser goes yay far. far it's relatively chill, um, but I suspect once we get to the dungeon it will be less chill. Alright, so we're going to okay on that. More, more, more. Okay. So, uh, star launcher. We need 20 bricks, which means we need a bunch of stone as well. Uh, but I also want to do the tool bench to see if we can assemble modular weapons. So we need more stone. We need 25 more stone to turn into bricks. I have I have two. More stone. I probably should be automating some of this shit, shouldn't I? Okay, fine, fine. We'll look into the automation. Um, automation collector. We need five gears. Gear. Gear. How do I? How do I make it craft a gear? Ah, I need to provide power first. Okay, I'm gonna take that. You take that. Uh, gear. One. Two. So if we build the collector, it will collect everything in this general vicinity. However, it needs power for that. Right. So that means we need another test to coil. Which we can do. Did that not count? It's 
not counting for whatever reason. This is generating power. This one is working. Generating 20 SE, consuming zero. This one is not working, and I don't know why exactly. This one is now working. So apparently one Tesla coil per power system, I guess? Bees. What's my bees? understandable kinder that is, that is the twitch thing where they don't give me bandwidth to uh, be a better streamer unfortunately there is supposedly a feature that they're working on that lets us choose our own uh, down sampling and coding but uh, I don't know where that stands Good. Lovely. Alright, so that collector's going, doing a thing. I'm assuming if I put conveyors on it, they would the things would come out. Maybe move her out from the machine to conveyor. And then we could like dump it into the crafter to constantly auto-craft things. Um, let's see about getting that star launcher though. I need a whole bunch more iron cooked up. I could do something like um, the collector automatically pulling all of its um, burnable resources into here. That might be a thing. That would be a wonderful goal, kinder. Wonderful goal indeed. Alright, uh, Star Launcher, we have that. We need bricks next. I have some stone, I need to get more. Nice, kinder. I, I probably just finished listening to that one. It's like 45 hours long. By the, uh, the HP Lovecraft Historical Society. Finished listening to that one uh, a month or two ago, give or take. It took me forever to finish it. enough resources to keep going for a little bit. Alright, we'll take that. Uh, we'll burn half of that. 20. Get that going. Alright, 
Alright, uh, can I do that thing I said? Okay, so manual filters would. We'll take one of you. Wood. Whitelist. And then. Conveyor. Uh, maybe I don't need to go that far. Maybe we can just put it in the top. No. Maybe. Maybe we need a mover to go into the machine. It is doing it. It is doing it. Wonderful. Okay. We could also do coal. Um, so coal would be a thing we could add to that filter as well. So with coal in there, it will also dump out. And as soon as the wood is done burning, the coal will go into that slot. And it will last a little bit longer. Uh, which is great. I mean, now we have we have automated power. I love it. Okay. Um, so now for the next thing, we wanted to do the star launcher. We need twenty bricks for that, which is in here. Star launcher. Big old fuck off cannon. Perfect. Great. Uh, and then I also want to do the tool bench. So I need five wood and five stone. So we need to do five more stone in here. And then I need to go get some wood because all of my wood's being burnt. Stone, wood, tool bench. Love it. Okay, tool bench. Uh, add an item to make a weapon. Uh, wood. Great. Stone. Copper. Um, iron, iron, iron. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, the tutorial has not tutorialized me on the tool building doodad. However, um, oh. I forgot to put coal on this filter. Get, get, give. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that will keep moving. So I need to figure out how to transfer power longer distance, because that Tesla coil did not work when I put two of them. I was expecting it to just kind of extend my range of how far I could transmit power, but that didn't work. So I don't know the answer to that one just yet. But that's all happened. Okay, so we need primitive hammer, primitive handle, bomb. Primitive hammer. Do it. Primitive handle. Do it. Okay. Um, and then and then bomb. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna make a bomb. Uh, that required the five iron ore, I think. No, I don't know what that is then. But that's my iron ore. That's my copper ore. So I don't know what that thing is. Iron. Nug or iron ingots, coal, and something. It looks like that might be like a fuel pellet or a log or something. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Um, so let's let's see if we can do tool. How do I... How do I... How do I do it? 
<laughs> how do I how do I do it? How do I Oh, okay. So that's just I see. <laughs> Alright, so what if, what if a uh, copper handle? Perfect, now I'm holding a copper handle. Great, alright, so that's terrible. Um, there we go. So let's do this button. I'm gonna go there. Oh, I'm not going there, I'm gonna look there. It is Enceladus. It wasn't spelled that way before. <laughs> uh, a simple move with a simple dungeon. Launch. We're getting cannoned. Okay. I'm here now. Cheese. Cheese. there just in case ah, ah I see so mining this is just stones right it's just just stones okie dokie oh hi 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 now Oh, I'm not good at this. Wow, wow, this this hammer sucks. This hammer sucks. Okay, I did. <laughs> Alright, so that was, that was something. This hammer sucks, by the way. Um, so if I... So, my current weapon is Fist. 0.5 damage, 0.25 cooldown. If I slap on just the handle, same damage, more than double the cooldown. But more reach. Okay. Um, if I slap on the hammer, it's now almost, it's over a minute and a half cooldown. Same reach, but four times the damage and some knockback. But, it kicks my butt. So. Let's try it again. Just to see if this is any better. So I, I only lost a couple items, which is fine. Ah. 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 Fucking mushrooms. Fucking mushrooms. Did the thing. Can I mine their corpses? I cannot mine their corpses. Nice. Alright, I am surviving. I understand the mechanics now. 
Yipe. Mushrooms are pain in the dick, but they're not enemies as far as the door lockout mechanic. They provide coins, which, sure, whatever that does for me. Robots big, hammer slow. Indeed, that is the uh, summary of the combat that's going on here. Good, good. I would like to just survive this process. But so many robots, oh sweet Jesus. Fuck the mushroom. Mushroom. Now. One down. We're getting there. Hammer sucks. This hammer sucks a lot. You good? Ow. Okay. Ah. Ah! I got mushrooms. Came out of there with more health than I started with. Even better. Full health. I kind of dig this. Um, the automation element uh, is fairly rudimentary, at least to start off with. Oh, that's a lot of bloody trees. Um, if I needed trees, this would be a great place for it. Um, however, my manual mining process is a little bit too slow, I think, to clear out this room of trees. We did it! Wood, iron, 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 sword, handle, and dagger blade. Hell yeah! Can I have, can I have this? I cannot have this. Okay. Alright, so we got a better weapon. Oh shit. <laughs> I was, thought it was over. That was over. Now, now, now. Robot dead. Now, fuck the mushrooms. Dead. 
definitely looking forward to a faster swinging weapon. Yipe. 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 Alright, hopefully the coins are useful. Um, because so far, um, they're, they're my primary output of this dungeon, other than a couple new weapons. Robot dead. Mushroom dead. Missed. Ow. Oh, dead. Nice. Oh, there's two different directions. Okay. Uh, I don't. Hmm. I don't. How do we get out of here? Is there some sort of actual exit point? Oh, good lord. I don't know where exit is. Ah! Ah! I don't like this! Jeez. Ow. Okay, I took that one in the face. That was fine. Get out of here. Man, those robots hit really hard and often. That has a skull on it. That door. So that tells me boss room. Which is wonderful. I have some cheese though. So if I need to, I can cheese it up in the boss. Um, I'm not gonna explore anymore. We found the dungeon. Um, having a map in this mess would be wonderful. Most of these games that have, you know, room-based randomized dungeons, there's some sort of map with, like, question marks to show you that you haven't, haven't uncovered a certain area or whatever. Um, so not having that map and not having even a faintest idea of what direction to go to, that's tough. Now, that may be a later upgrade, but... For right now, it's difficult. So let's boss Dreadcap Harbinger of Decay. 
Oh, oh, oh. 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 This is going to quickly turn into a bullet hell if I don't take care of this. However, I think he generates them faster than I can. Problematic for me, it just generates more purple mushrooms. This is. This is. This is. Damage wise, really rough. And we'll get there. Ow. Jeez. Oh no, jeez, there's only one health. things near him. Definitely generating mushrooms faster than I can do anything about that. I got now. I got health. There was health in there. I immediately lost it. Down. One more hit them down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Having him be able to shoot out those things in random directions when you have to be close to fight him, that's rough. Okay, what did I lose? I didn't lose anything. I didn't lose anything. Hooray! Now we have a better weapon that we can go in with. So that was exciting. It was very exciting. Um, okay, so this isn't working anymore. So it was not able to power itself. That's good to know. What about this? Um, so, handle blade. Damage 2, cooldown 0.7.
So two one one and one point five or one point oh five for each. Two point seven and one with a point three reach. So if we slap extra handle on it, the cooldown is slightly longer, but we have a hell of a lot longer reach, turning it kind of a spear-ish. Alright, let's see how Okay. What about I think I want the range. I think I like the range. Alright, alright. Um, okay. I think we get the gist of this game. I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. Um, it's got automation, it's got multiplayer, it's got stuff going on with it. Um, I'm, I'm curious how far it goes. Do we get more planets to go to? Um, currently it's just a simple move with a simple dungeon, but, you know, is, is there more? Um, who knows? This is a little bit faster than the, the hammer. I don't think it has nearly enough, nearly as much knockback though. Right, still, whoa, 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 rude! Yeah, not nearly as much knockback, but significantly faster damage. is already there. Okay, cool. Let's see if it's the same boss or if we get different bosses. I am, I am a little curious. Nope, still, still boss. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna hoil on him until I can't hoil on him anymore. Get as much damage as I can before the mushrooms start spawning. Much better. Purple does do damage, though, I did notice. I do have to stay away from that again. Turns out when your damage is nearly double the speed, aka nearly double the damage, it's pretty good. Fuck off, mushroom. Yipe, yipe, yipe. Okay, I have to actually survive this process though. Dead mushroom. Get fucked, mushroom man. The cheese replenishes health by one nugget. So is there an is there an out? Whoa. Is there is there an out? So I don't think we've found the out yet. We found the boss battle. But I don't think we've found the actual exit of the dungeon yet. Alright, that's a thing. Oh. Exit of the dungeon. I, I see. Found the exit of the dungeon. What did I actually get? I got the Dread Cap Trophy. Not entirely sure what that does for me, but uh, I have it. It's mine now. Put it in the chest. I also got Shromel. Oh, okay. So the, the Dreadcap Trophy doesn't do anything, but the Shromel 
It's like a pommel, but a shrommel. Um, that if we put the shrommel on there, it shrinks the cooldown time by a decent amount. So what if that? So a, a medium reach, but faster. Yeah. Okay. I'm 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 getting what they're putting down here. So we've got an automation element. Um, we've got automatically generating random resources. We've got dungeons, we've got customizable weapons. We've got a lot going on for it, and it's got multiplayer, so you can play with friends. Star Ground. That was enjoyable. On to the next game, shall we?